friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. I have recently been seeing a lot more spoilers drop for the May 2024 Ipsy Icon box curated by Patrick Starr, the one size brand. Very exciting. I did bring you guys recently a part one video when we first had the initial reveal of who the curator was going to be. And we had like three, at least three spoilers in there, maybe a little bit more. Um, but not a lot of spoilers yet. Um, but since then, I've been seeing all kinds of spoilers floating around, some official, some unofficial. So what I am doing for this video is bringing you a part two spoilers on what we might be seeing in the icon box. And I'm just kind of putting together the whole full curated list that I've seen. Keep in mind, we may even see more after this, but I'm trying to kind of I like to keep you guys up to date. Some months it's a part two, some months it's a part three on my spoilers for Ipsy. For the icon box, it just depends on how many more they drop. But I like to kind of keep you updated so you're not waiting till like the very end of the month to find out. So anyway, if that interests you, stick around and we will hop right on in going through the list. All right, guys. So as we said before, we have Patrick Staw as our curator. So we are seeing um, some one size products. I think the only one I shared though in that first video that was a true one size brand product was the uh, Cheek Clapper Cheek Palette, which was super exciting to me. I know a few of you already have this, but I am so hoping to get that palette. Um, since then, I have seen a few more one size products, but then in addition to that, we have other brands as well. Um, I'm thinking some of these are curated by Patrick Starr, maybe his picks. So I'd like to bring you a list of like, here's all the one size products versus here's all of the non one size, but there's like at least one that's unofficial and then the rest are official. So I'm probably gonna break this into more like, here's the official spoilers I know are from Ipsy and that have been kind of like confirmed. And then here's the ones that are maybe a little more iffy and unconfirmed. So that's kind of more how I'm going to organize everything. We also have a few sneak peeks as to a couple of choice items, um, but most of these I don't know for sure. All right, so let's start with that. I'm gonna start with what are official and have been confirmed as actual choice products by Ipsy. And then we'll keep continuing in the rest of the confirmed. And then at the end, we'll go through the unconfirmed. Okay, so confirmed choice products. We have that Five Suns perfume, and this is Life of the Party. And as we discussed before, this was in my previous spoilers video. This one has uh, like peachy earthy notes and retails for $65. Okay, the next choice item we see is some Rare Beauty. It looks like this might be their liquid highlight, which I am so excited about. I still haven't done the highlight. I love her blushes. Um, the Rare Beauty highlights, they retail for $25. I'm not sure what shades or anything like that, just have seen it as a blip. All right, next product um, they're showing as a choice is the Innisfree green tea seed hyaluronic cream. And this one retails for $29. So a little more on this one, it is an actual moisturizer. It also includes squalane in addition to the hyaluronic acid, as well as green tea, it's supposed to really nourish and strengthen the skin's barrier. And it also, I uh, guess it comes in a recyclable glass packaging too. Okay, so those three items were ones that I know of as being choice. They also have listed others that I think are power picks, but I'm not 100%, but they've kind of listed these as official spoilers, but I think they're the big power pick ones. So two of them are indeed one size products from Patrick Starr. So the first one is the Fantasize Mascara, and this is supposed to be both lifting and lengthening, but in looking more at it, it's supposedly at 24 hour wear is some of the claims. It's supposed to curl and have length and be flake proof. So very exciting. I still really prefer not to do the mascara though. I hope Ipsy sends me the cheek palette and not the mascara. I'll probably get the mascara. <laughs> okay, and then um, we also have that cheek palette. I think it's confirmed as a power pick. We already went over that one in uh, part one spoilers, but I think it's gonna be one of the heavier hitters. And then we have a non one size. We have Fenty Lipstick. This is gonna be the Icon Semi Matte 
refillable lipstick set. So I'll show you, I actually have one or I have one of those little refillable sets from Fenty Beauty. And so it would come something like this and then you can switch out lipsticks in it. It pops out from the bottom and then you have your different lipstick colors and you can put it back in this little case. So I think that's what they mean by the refillable case. And this retails for $32. Now I'm not certain what shade we'd be getting. I have noticed with our icon boxes in the past when we got lipsticks, we all got different shades. So it's probably just gonna be different for everybody is my guess. But those are all of the kind of official from Ipsy choice versus power pick uh, so far confirmed. But we'll go on to some more that are a little more official also, but they haven't been confirmed as whether or not they are a choice versus a power pick. And so I will first identify which ones are one size and then we'll identify the others. Okay, so we first have the one size point made waterproof liquid eyeliner pin and that retails for $19. We also have the one size Turn Up the Base Blurring Foundation. I am so excited about this. I really want to try it. And it's not often that we get foundations, you guys, in our boxes, foundations or concealers. I never seem to get them. So I would be so thrilled if I could try his um, blurring foundation. I've been wanting to try it. This retails for $35. We also have the One Size Lip Snatcher Hydrating Liquid Lipstick and Gloss Duo set. And this retails for $28. Again, not sure about the shades. Hopefully, you know, it's probably just all different colors is my guess. Okay, so those are all of the like more official spoilers that are one size. Let's talk about the still official that are not one size. We have the Kosas Plump and Juicy Lip Booster retails for $25. So that is very exciting. This is like a, a clean buttery lip treatment. So this has like fatty acids in it and different actives to kind of help smooth and at the same time plump up your lips. So I would love to try that one too. Very into the lip treatments right now. Next we have the Saturday Skin Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream and this retails for $45. I am super excited to see this. I almost grabbed this on the deal from the Allure member site because they have a big discounted price right now on the Allure store for this. I almost added it to cart. Did I add it to cart? I can't remember. But now if there's a chance I might get it in my icon box, I hope I didn't add it to cart because I don't want to duplicate, but I, I've been wanting to try it. So I'm excited about this. Okay, and then next we have a hair product. This is from Avani, if I say that right. Hair and Scalp Recovery Oil. So this is a pre-wash oil that you're going to put in that multitasks. It it's supposed to be helping with hair strength, um, taming the frizz also, and combating like breakage and all of that. It's supposed to be for all hair types and textures. And also supposed to hydrate the scalp. And this retails for $35. All right, then we have the Dermalactives Purifying Cleansing Gel. This actually retails, I've seen it in different places. One says $70, another says $75. Try to have quite a hefty uh, price tag on that. This is supposed to really be like a makeup remover, but I see it also in a toner category. So I don't know if it's a cleanser and toner. It's supposed to be um, alcohol free and gentle for the skin and very softening and smoothing, but pretty pricey. All right, so the next one is, I'm excited about this one. This is the Vacation Ink Baby Oil SPF 30. Um, this retails for $22. And I recently saw this brand, Vacation. They have like the perfumes and it's very like, well, vacation vibes, beachy vibes, which is very much me, Florida girl. Um, I saw it in the Fab Foot Fun spoilers and really wanted to try it. So I'm happy to see it show up here too. I'd love to get this one. Um, we've also got First Aid Beauty, which is always great to get. That is the Bounce Boosting Serum with collagen and peptides. And this retails for $44. I don't think I have done this one, actually. That one's actually my skin type. That sounds good. We've also got Topicals. Um, and this is going to be their Faded Under Eye Brightening and Clearing Eye Masks. I think that that brand sells a lot of these, like, masks and stuff. So I've been actually wanting to try it. And this retails for $22. All right, then we have some more Fenty Beauty. We've got Fenty Skin, Thick and Smooth, 
Rich Peptide Eye Cream. And this one retails $42. And I think, did I already mention this one before in the other spoilers? I'm remembering it. I think we did um, the Benefit again, which is the Professional Beauty Smooth Pore Mask. And that one retails for $39. So those were all the ones that I think were like pretty much confirmed and fairly official. Um, there's a few more that I've seen that are a little unofficial floating around there from other YouTubers and from like unofficial pictures, like little sneak peeks Ipsy's thrown out there, but hasn't said what it is and we're just speculating. Um, so this, these include Biro, which is very exciting, Basil Dark Spot Corrector Cream. Yay. And that retails for $85. Okay, I need this, please. I've got the dark spots. And so I'd love to try theirs. I've fallen in love with Biro now. And I'm happy when I see one that's actually for my skin type or my skincare needs. We've also got more one size, the liquid eyeshadow, eyeshadow poppers retails for $24. I'm so excited about these poppers. I'd love to get these. It looks like you've got about five different shades that you can choose from. Um, so I'm not sure which shade again, but all these like metallic-y finishes. Now it retails for $24, like I said, but right now it's actually on sale on the one size site for $12. But yeah, I'd love to get those too. Then we have the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Multiplying Volume Stylus Mist. Retails for $30. So this looks great. It's supposed to be a styling mist that's good for both volume and shine. Um, and anytime I hear caviar, anti-aging, all of that, that is right up my alley. Sounds kind of bougie um, and something that sounds like my hair definitely needs. Okay. So that was everything. Those were kind of the unofficial ones, but um, yeah, that wraps it up. That's the full list of all the different parts I've seen. I tried to put it all together in kind of a, an organized list for you because I have probably seen five or six different drops, different spoilers from multiple places, including Ipsy and other sites. So I kind of just pieced them all together for you here. Um, so this is officially part two Icon Box Spoilers. I don't know if there will I will have a third part for you or not, but also stay tuned because I'll be bringing you part two of the regular Ipsy spoilers that will include the Boxy Charm and Glam Bag. Um, I kind of have an unofficial spoiler for Beauty Boost too, um, so be looking for that video. I don't know if I'm going to have both part two and three or if I'm just going to wait until I see all the add-ons for everything and bring it to you in one piece. And it will depend on my time management because I have wedding weekend coming up here and lots of other videos dropping. So uh, just be on the lookout for that part two. I'll definitely have that coming fairly soon as well. So that wraps it up, guys. You'll want to stick around and pop that subscribe so you don't miss more of the spoilers. And whenever my Ipsy um, ships, because I do get this in PR, I will definitely be bringing you my unboxing. I hope it comes... I am going to be on a little anniversary and uh, birthday trip with my husband coming up. So I really hope that my, my boxes don't come while I'm on my trip. I might end up being late getting those boxes to you. I'm going to hope the timing works out well. Such a bummer. I always love being able to get it to you immediately, especially for choice day. But I don't, I can't promise if that'll happen this month or not, guys. Sorry. Uh, but definitely just be looking. If it does happen, I will definitely bring it to you as soon as I get my hands on it. So, all right, guys. So I will see you then and catch you on the next one. Bye.